G'day folks, today we're going to learn how to make a date and ginger loaf. And uh, now, w these things are usually made in a tin about that long and about that round. So, uh, have a look through your cupboard, see if you've got one of them, because it's pretty handy that you want that loaf shape. Uh, you can buy them also at um, junk shops or bric-a-brac shops or on eBay, you can have a look around. Uh, and if you don't have one, use a different shape of tin it doesn't you know it doesn't really matter that much but uh, it just may not be a loaf it might be something else uh, so what you want you need uh, a cup of dates chopped now get the dates that don't have the pips in them the ones that have been pitted um, chop them up fairly finely cup of them uh, one tablespoon of ginger powdered ginger I guess you could use fresh too but for this recipe I'd, I'd say powdered's the go um, optional here, but can add a little bit of the texture to your date and ginger loaf, is a few walnuts chopped. Now, walnuts aren't always that cheap. That would probably be the most expensive item in this loaf if you decide to go ahead and add them. But um, they do add a nice bit of texture. Maybe, I don't know, third to half a cup of uh, chopped walnuts. Uh, add to that. A tablespoon of butter. Uh, you can use margarine, but butter's better for you and it tastes nicer. And a teaspoon of uh, baking soda. Chuck that in and then you, you cover those ingredients with a cup of boiling water. Now, uh, make sure you have those ingredients in a bowl or, or a vessel of some sort. Don't just have them sitting on the bench and then cover them with, with water. Make a hell of a mess. I let that cool, and once it's cooled, uh, you mix in one and a half cups of self-raising flour. Mix that all up, chuck it in your little loaf tin, or whatever you're cooking in there, bake it for a half hour to 45 minutes, and uh, there you go. There's your uh, date and ginger loaf. So, uh, happy baking, folks. Hope this is the first in many videos of uh, cooking instruction that I'll be able to do for you here. And if you enjoyed this video, as everybody says, uh, please um, hit the subscribe button. Oh, I'd I don't want you missing out on any of these uh, instructional videos that I'll be doing. Uh, coming up, of course, I will be doing video. I've had a few people ask me about different things, um, uh, how to make popcorn and how to build a small aircraft. So uh, hopefully those videos will be added before too long. Anyway, get out of here. <laughs> you got some cooking to do.